from Fox 13, the most powerful name in local news. This is Good Day Tampa Bay. Looking to make something for a family get-together during Passover or Easter, but you don't want it to be too fattening, right? You can do it. You just have to follow Tina Ruggiero's advice. She's a licensed dietitian joining us, making a casserole out of... Dates, ham, and wild rice. And it is absolutely delicious. I like the delicious. ham and wild rice. But you know something? Your reaction is typical when people mention dates because they think of, like a, a, I don't know, a dried fruit. And, but these are Bard Valley Medjool dates. Okay. And a Medjool date comes from the Medjool palm. And these are, taste like caramel and they're as sweet as chocolate. They're a delicious right, snack. Right. What's the difference between... Figs and dates. It's like this an is a date. It's like an apple and an orange, two different fruits. Now these make a great snack and they're tender and sweet. You can use them just like this, pop in your mouth or in an ingredient. They're not bad, right? I love them. I like the texture. Yes, creamy and The texture is good. Now you know what? Two of those are a serving. More potassium two? than a banana. Really? And lots of fiber. Great source of calcium. So for ladies who don't like milk or... Mm -hmm. how, great, how many calories in two? About 140. Okay. But that's the same as maybe, you know, a, a banana, which has 120. And certainly better than a Snickers. Right. And you know something? Tampa residents eat more dates per capita than any other city in the country. Really? It's because Come they're on. smart. They're smart. Well, of course they we know are. what they're doing. So Maybe history or heritage has something it, to do with I it. I think so. So right now, we're going to go from dates as a snack to dates as an ingredient okay. in a recipe. Now, I have about one small onion chopped in here. I hope we can see this. Uh -huh. And, and some celery or two stalks of celery okay. chopped. And then I'm going to add a little bit of thyme and rosemary and I always add my herbs last because it keeps the the flavor very fresh and very Wait, go ahead oh, no I was going to say don't don't add them at the beginning because then they overpower the whole dish when they're dry are you supposed to kind of um crumble them a little bit to bring out that um well, I, aroma you can but I use yeah. fresh I always oh, prefer that was fresh. fresh and you oh. can grow them yourself yeah it would they, not not where I live in a little pot, absolutely, you can. I can't. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, so while these are finishing up, you're going to prepare the rest of the okay. casserole. So I have four cups of cooked wild Love rice this. mix. this. Yummy, right? Okay, now to this you're going to add about uh, like two-thirds of a cup okay. of ham. Now you can do this without the ham if okay. you want, or with Easter ham that's left oh, over. Yeah, this sure. is perfect. All right, okay, two-thirds of a cup of apricots. And you can stir with this. I tend oh. to like to stir with a wooden spoon because it Knew doesn't. I was doing something wrong. It doesn't uh, gum up gum up the ingredients. Now oh, those wow. are these are the dates. The dates which have been minced. Okay. Okay. And then that's about one small cooking apple. Okay. And put that in there. Okay. So Got now it. this has been cooking for about five minutes. I got right. a head start before you came, and I'm going to just add this right into your mixture. And then once we once we have this all mixed together, mm -hmm. you're going to pour it into a two-quart saucepan and you're going to bake it at 350 for about eh, 20 minutes or until it's until it's okay. hot. Okay. And this also makes a lovely side dish mm -hmm. as well as an entree. So there there you go. That's beautiful. Now the dates kind of uh, clump up, so you do have to separate yeah, them. Yeah, separate mind. them a little bit. But look at that. You've yeah, got it's pretty. color, it's you have pretty, nutrition, pretty, pretty. you have great taste. Okay, okay so, so then now, you put it in here. Pour it right is it, in. And it's greased? It is lightly greased. I am making you work this morning. That's all right. Go, Anne. <laughs> <laughs> I don't cook too often, so That's I might okay. as well do it on TV, You're right? doing a fine job. But you know something? For someone who doesn't cook, you look like a pro. And this is so easy. And you can see we're doing this in, what, four minutes? I'm so, making a mess, though. Anybody that's can so do typical. This. Okay, that's this is right. what I would do at home, so. That's, remember Julia Child dropped the chicken on the floor? She picked oh, it up she and she ate it. she did more than that on TV. So, okay, that's all right. <laughs> oh, she did eat it? Yes. I don't remember that Of one. course. The guests didn't see, so well, back but, into but the pot it, it went. Yes, she dry, yeah. yes. Okay, so this is the baked okay. final version. There's a fork here, so okay. you can try it. And then also, for, for Passover or Easter, uh -huh. I made a mascarpone date cheese ball. Mascarpone, oh. it's an Italian cheese. And if you can't find it in your store, you can use like a reduced fat cream cheese. Okay. And that makes it a little bit healthier. Toasted pecans, thyme, and they're Bard Valley Medjool dates in there. Absolutely Those delicious. Yeah, you can get them at Publix. Okay, great. So All right, now this is, find. this is it. That's your casserole. And okay. it really, it's lovely as Guess an entree with some white wine or as a side dish. Mm. Good, right? It's better and We have converted her. Mm -hmm. And now a date lover. 
I do like it better in there. Better in there. This is just a little too much for me. I well, have okay. to have it in something. You know something? I'm I'm a cyclist. I, I do distance cycling. And these are an awesome snack for people who are mm -hmm. fit, fitness conscious because they're energy dense, nutrient mm -hmm. dense, and they're all natural. There's no protein in there, though. though There's right? no protein. But, yeah. you know, it, for, for re refueling your, mm -hmm. your glycogen stores, mm -hmm. this is absolutely the perfect snack. And, yeah. you know, it's 70% of dates that are eaten in America yeah. are grown in Bard Valley, which is in the American Southwest. So cool. if you want to know where your food comes from, it's right here in our own backyard. See? Mm -hmm. This is so, the date that I should appreciate instead right. of the kind that stood me up. So happy Easter, happy Passover. Make these mm -hmm. traditions Thank you, Tina. You're, You're welcome. A, you have a nice holiday. Always a pleasure. You too. Thanks.